What a great graduation day we had last Saturday. I know the weather wasn't exactly the way we wanted it to be. However, to see so many people succeed at rocking out 20 and 12 miles or even make the right call on cutting it short because we educated you on uh, when and how to make a legit quit um, happen is is really really warms my heart to see so many of you guys succeed out there. Now, that being said, for my early October races, namely kind of the two weeks in October, I'm talking to you guys first, really, and we need to start tapering. Now, to talk to my late October, maybe early November, you guys aren't tapering just quite yet. However, um, it is time, kind of time to take the intensity and volume off the plate a bit uh, for active recovery before we kind of go up one more time all right, to get you primed and ready to roll for your late October or November. But let's talk just kind of in a taper mode for now. And, and most people, sometimes the wheels come completely off after this big run has been logged. But really what I would encourage you guys to do is keep the frequency. So if you guys are running four days a week, five days a week, six days a week during this taper, you guys need to run your four days a week, five days a week, six days a week. If you guys are doing the Tuesday workouts, you guys need to keep those Tuesday workouts, right? Keep the intensity there. What goes away during the taper, and especially where we're at right now, is the volume, all right? So maybe not quite as much, but as frequent and as fast as it usually is. Our bodies are creatures of habits. We need to make sure that we stay primed and ready to roll and not cut completely. Our body doesn't like that either. So... That, so Tuesday, this Tuesday, kind of is, the, I won't say the last hard workout, but I would say kind of the last structured workout, if you will, the last choreographed workout, especially for my cowbell racers out there. Um, next week, we're kind of kind of doing just kind of a, a race pace kind of tune up. All right, but this one too, knowing that, uh, again, Saturday was pretty rough on people. I do want to kind of go off of effort, not necessarily pace. And if you guys are feeling it because the weather is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous, right, the intensity should stay um, pretty close to the, the suggested pace. But that being said, we're going to go out 15 minutes, all right, at, again, around your 10K pace or 10K effort after 15 minutes. If you guys remember, you're just going to turn around and try to beat it back. So hopefully you guys can make it back in 14 minutes or 14 and a half minutes or 13 and a half minutes, whatever the case may be. All right, so we're picking up the same distance that you did on the way out just in a shorter amount of time. All right, so again, if you wanted to make a, a, a 10K effort, it's still there. Maybe your legs just need some recovery, but they still want to turn over, all right? Kind of uh, fill the feelings of what a 10K should feel like on the first 15 minutes on out and then turn around and try to beat it back. I'd much rather you guys stay a little bit more conservative on the way out um, and then try to pick it up on the way back. Because again, we're, we love those negative splits. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, keep that intensity coming. Even if you can't hit pace, but you hit effort, keep that intensity coming. This is the last loggable workout for many of us. So we just need to make sure that we just put the cherry on top of the hot fudge sundae and we take it from there. If you have any questions, please let me know.